Hey everybody, welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. We are on the warrior today. And we're going to do something different. Uh, we're going to do some PvP, uh, which we've never done before. And mainly we're doing this uh, just as, you know, something different, like I said. Um, I used to PvP a little bit back mainly in Burning Crusade on the warrior. I'm not PvP spec'd, and I'm probably not going to be any good, but listen. Uh, I wanted to talk about a few things this morning. And there are things that I really don't say enough that I probably should say more of, especially in these times. And mainly that's that I really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, I do want you to know that I read every comment, every view, every like, every comment means the world to me, guys. Um, I just want you to know that I know I'm bad at expressing it. That's like ditto for all of my relationships in life. Uh, so, you know, nothing new for me. But yeah, I needed to say that. Uh, and today I realized that... Um, I had a couple people actually giving me their real life money on Patreon uh, during the current global situation that's happening. And I thought, holy crap, why would people give me their real life money to do what I'm going to do anyway? What I want to be doing all the time. Um, and I can't really say how that makes me feel without getting like way too emotional for a World of Warcraft video. Uh, but yeah, guys. Um, you guys mean a lot to me. You're the reason that I keep coming back to Azeroth. And Azeroth is a place that I really need to be, especially now. Uh, because it's a kind of a place of peace for me. It ties me to my past and, the, you know, and really just cements me. In, it's funny that it's what cement me in reality, being a video game. But, uh, yeah, it keeps me centered, you know. And that's uh, absolutely necessary right now. So thank you guys so much. Also... Um, any money I get on Patreon is going to go right to Feeding America. I'll put a link uh, to their site down below. And those donations to them start at $10 a month, I think. And the reason for that is, like, I'm still marginally employed in a time when most, a lot of people, I shouldn't say most, I think the unemployment rate in America right now is uh, 10%, but that's only because a lot of people actually can't get on to file their claim because of uh, overload on the servers and just human... Um, there's not enough humans to help, you know? Uh, so it's 10% unemployment, and that's like all-time high since uh, the Depression. And since I'm still at least marginally employed, I, I need to... any ex Anything that I get beyond my employment is going to go to Feeding America. Um, because I think that we might have a long way to go before things get back to normal. And yeah, so that's that's what's happening with that. I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. And now I will shut up and we will actually focus and see if we can help out um, our faction here. So what we're doing is we need to be claiming these points. So we're going to see how you can see how it's turning blue or red. That means we hold that we are we are alliance because I'm on the I'm on the alliance today. So we need to be capturing these um, and holding them for resources that we're accumulating up here. Uh, as you might guess, first to 2,000 wins, so pretty straightforward. Not having a mount at our level, um, not very helpful to our faction, so we may end up being more of a defender than anything else, because otherwise we are going to get caught out on our own. But yeah, this was just to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do some PvP. Um, I don't want to have to pay to respec uh, because we only have five gold, so although I am going to respec back to protection pretty soon. Now if we can get up here without getting caught out behind everybody, we might actually be useful. Oh shit. Okay, we're gonna get on it. Oh man, that's a long fear. Is this a rogue? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure that we're helping here. 
So, you know, usually when you're PvPing, you want to be a little bit higher level into the 10 level bracket. So every 10 levels, I believe it is a bracket. So if we were level 49, we'd be like the highest level person in this match. Uh, at level 41, we are on the, the low end here, but that's okay for today. Next time we'll be a little more optimal. It's still early in the match. Anything can happen. Technically. We'd probably be a little bit more useful in this situation if we were prot, because we would be able to just uh, take some damage and be a distraction, essentially, for the real heavy hitters. But let's kind of stick with these guys. We can still be a distraction. Uh, we just... Need to play our cards right. And then let's kind of peel out a little bit. And... Okay, here we go. Oh, damn! <laughs> Level 47 Rogue just picking us apart. I don't know what that means. Probably that something was just taken. I think we're going for the lumber mill. Wait for me, guys. Oh, we need to get a mount. So I started leveling um, my BFA warrior the other day, just between tasks at my marginal employment job. So, and I, and I say that not, you know, I say that because of the amount of income that it brings in. But in these times, I got really lucky, and when I was forced to <laughs> switch career paths, I um, ended up working for a bank. And it's probably only because of that that I'm still employed, so I'm actually really grateful. Uh, even though I took about a uh, 50% pay cut when I was forced to switch roles. But it would have been, the difference now would have been, I probably would not have been employed at all right now. So, you know, sometimes things happen that don't seem that great, and then later it turns out that, uh, it's not as bad as you thought it was going to be, because things change all the time. And we just have to be grateful uh, in each moment, I guess. Alright, uh, can we get this guy? Or is he just tearing everybody apart? I feel like we're being useful, sort of. Someone's on us. Oh, 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 from a distance with what, an ice bolt? It might be interesting to see what happens to us. That's what might be interesting. I don't think we took that, did we? No. We didn't stay on it enough to take it. That was the problem. And now we're all just rushing towards it. We should probably switch tracks and take some other stuff. Um, but everyone's heading this way, and we're not going to do much good on our own, so... Let's just go ahead and follow them. Unless we turn things around here, it might be kind of a quick match. But yeah, I started leveling my BFA warrior. Um, of the same name, similar look, he's gotten a haircut and doesn't have the forelocks anymore. 
And I, in one sitting with the 100% XP boost and heirloom items, in one sitting of about an hour, I was able to get to level 18. <laughs> uh, it was pretty humorous. I guess that leveling quickly is a lot of fun for some people. I mean, I, I guess I, I used to play the game exactly like that all the time. So it's very, it's still muscle memory to get through those quests without reading them, you know? Um, damn, I wanted to charge somebody here. We could, maybe we can stand here, <laughs> like, try to claim the thing. Maybe that's what we can do best. Yeah, I think we need to stand like directly in this to get it. Hmm. There we go. Kind of. Perfect. But now what? We're not going to be able to hold anything on our own, so we should just kind of go where the majority go. And help out however we can. This is where it would be amazing to be a healer. Because everyone needs heals at all levels. And they're not as flamboyant as like shooting frost bolts or fire bolts, so it's like easier to not get found out. Uh, we're kind of splitting the group here, guys. Yeah, the center. Uh, looks like they're ready for us up there. I don't know about this. Uh, we probably should have went back. Uh, well, that's closer to their spawn point. No, they're all here. Um, I'm not gonna get killed. I don't see, like, a point of running in there and dying. Like, that just seems kind of stupid to me. Especially at our level. Well, we helped get one guy down, so it wasn't a total waste. What is up here? What do we got? Who's at the top? Berlonil? Berlonil? Slummy? Helsinki? All Horde. Yeah, that would have been more useful when fighting here. <laughs> I just wanted to get it and see what it did. Increases all damage caused by 30% and all damage taken by 10%. Yo, that's... We don't need to take more damage. Hey, there's someone like around here, guys. Huh. Well, we're gonna get caught out because we're the dummy without a mount, so... We should definitely hang out where the rogue is sapping people. <laughs> yeah, he's just probably waiting for all these guys to go away. Yeah, let's, um, I'm not too keen on going for that. that. This seems like a bad idea. We got some action over here. Like, they're obviously, well, okay. Yeah, well, they've taken the stables up north, but then now we're taking this. Doesn't seem like a great idea. Doesn't seem like a great idea, but we'll do it. I'm not going to let him lead us off into a trap, though. That's kind of silly. Let's just keep trying to claim this. Alright. 
I, we're not gonna win. <laughs> but, you know, at least we didn't give up. I'm not gonna, like, just head towards their spawn point, though. That just seems like a bad idea. I am going to double back. Yeah, because, see, now they've already taken this, so now they're working on this. Let's go back up here to the lumber mill, see if we can lend a hand. I had grabbed some quests, but obviously we're not going to complete them this time. Oh god, they're like, why are they red and orange? It's unusual. Oh, hello there! Oh, what a surprise to see you. I'm such a spaz. This is why I don't really get into PvP too much. <laughs> you know, I, I think honestly in PvP I'm going to be better tanking, healing, and that's probably it. I, I'm not... I'm not the right kind of spaz to, to do this kind of combat. Like, look at this guy. He's, he clearly kind of has an idea what he's doing. I don't know. I find people who can do that really impressive. The only game that I got decent at that kind of like one-on-one -on -one dueling was actually Wildstar on my war here in Wildstar. Do you guys remember Wildstar? <laughs> yeah, that was like a strange experience. I got really into PvP in that game and I actually got like proficient enough with it to be happy with my own performance. And in that kind of thing, I'm like a really bad critic of myself. So for me to feel like okay with my performance, it was really a new experience in PvP in an MMO. So yeah, that Wildstar, that was it. And then, like I said, we did. I did some Burning Crusade PvP on my Warrior with uh, my friend at the time who played on a Rogue. And that was a lot of fun. I don't know that I ever got like really proficient, but having someone to kind of work with, especially a Rogue, uh, it was fun, you know what I mean? Robert, do you mean that playing an MMO with other people in your group is more fun? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of learning that maybe it is. Um, I just feel like, what am I going to do here besides become another honor kill? Oh shit. Uh, we'll go down fighting at least. Swing your sword. <laughs> it's fun. It's going to be over soon, guys. I appreciate you guys tolerating this video. <laughs> Um, and it, the whole purpose of it was mainly that I wanted to just talk for a little bit about the stuff, uh, mainly in the beginning. So I really appreciate you guys being here. Again, I don't say it enough, but I do need to express my gratitude for, for you guys just even, even being here and giving me your time. Like, humbling isn't the right word, but that's as close as I have right now. I'm usually okay with words, except when it comes to these kinds of things. I'm honored. I'm honored to be able to be here and in the position that I'm in and be able to make this content and just be in Azeroth with you guys and I know that I have it really good right now in that regard and that a lot of people out there just don't. But I think if we all help each other as much as we can and just, you know, help each other like not only financially or with food but just with sanity and like keeping each other sane, I think that, you know, we'll all get through it somehow. <laughs> he feared, feared him and he's like getting away. Alright, bye bye buddy. Let's, uh, let's uh, maybe get on this thing. Oh, maybe not. Oh shit, we didn't get our charge off. Well, <laughs> get out of there, guys. All right, should we? It's not quite the final battle, but it basically is. Ah, we could have watched for like 10 more seconds.
I, you know, I feel like Battlegrounds might be something that I would watch, uh, like, competition-wise. I know they do arena competitions, like, official WoW, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I would enjoy that, but I think maybe watching, like, a Battleground I might enjoy with, like, proper editing, proper editing and cuts to, like, the overworld map and to show you objectives, and I think that'd be cool. Uh, maybe they already do that, and I'm just not, like, keen on it. Oh, they're about to pass my date of birth, and there they go. They just skipped right over 1984. Alright, uh... Good game, everybody. Good game. <laughs> there are the statistics. Who got the top here? God, are we even on this list anywhere? Or did they just write us off? Oh, here we are. <laughs> we didn't do much, guys. We didn't do much, um, but we weren't at the very bottom. And we didn't feed too much. We fed a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay, well we got some honor. That's the first honor we've gotten. Again, thank you guys for being here. Um, take care of yourselves out there. Be well. And we're going to see you again really soon with some actual, uh, some actual content. Thank you for tolerating this today. Bye now.